so I realized a couple of things uh, as a few questions have come up since I've been doing videos about the Phi Tech unit. Um, a lot of folks actually don't know um, exactly what sensors are on here, what sensors or where they're located. Um, so I just wanted to do a real quick one on the sensors that are here and the part numbers. Um, I know sometimes the part numbers are questioned and the lists are out there. Um, I know Austin, who has phytechefituning.com, um, actually has them listed on his site. That's a good site. And Austin's a good guy, a lot of knowledge. So check out his site if you want an actual list of the part numbers. I'm going to go over them here anyways, so they'll be in the video, but it's it's already very existent on the forums and on Austin's website. So um, anyways, um, we're going to go over these real quick. So um, this is the ECU right here. Um, I think most people already know that, but that's the ECU. Inside the ECU is the MAP sensor. The MAP sensor is not replaceable. It's part of the ECU. So there is no part number for the MAP sensor. Um, the TPS, throttle position sensor, is located right here. And sorry about that, I realized my autofocus was locked. All right, so that'll be a little bit better. So TPS is located right here. Um, it is a standard GM part. I have the part numbers for you. Um, this is one right here. I carry a spare. Okay. Here it is right here. Uh, so you guys can look that up if you need it. It's an AC Delco part number. This particular one apparently is made in China, but uh, there's probably ones that are made in Mexico or other places. I'm not sure. But that is the part number for it. All right. Fuel pressure regulator. This is uh, the only part that's going to be different depending on what unit that you have. Um, this particular unit is a 600 unit, so the 600 units operate at 58 psi or 4 bar. Um, so the 4 bar unit, um, I have one right here. Here's a Bosch replacement. Um, let's see if we can't get this. There you go. Um, there is the part number right there. It's actually, it's not the SKU down here. It's this number. It's that 575. That is the, um, that is the four bar part number. Um, the three bar part number that I don't have because that's going to be on the, um, that is going to be on the 400 horsepower units is 0280. 160557. That's going to be the three bar unit. Okay. Um, coolant temperature sensor, CTS. This is the proper placement of it, by the way. Uh, it's going to be your discharge temperature. It's, it's the most optimum place. I shouldn't say proper. You could really put it anywhere. Some guys like to put it in the head. Um, theoretically, the discharge from the heads is probably going to be the warmest. Um, not too critical, um, but this is the coolant temperature sensor right here. It is also a standard GM part. I have one. I keep a spare, like most of the other parts. AC Delco part number, here it is right here. Um, so um, very widely available. There are actually a few part numbers that will replace this that are the same. This is particular one is the one that I ordered it actually for whatever reason, I couldn't ship the other part number to California. It's probably some silly proposition, whatever thing. Anyways, um, so we covered the TPS, we covered the coolant temperature sensor, map sensor is inside of this guy, not replaceable, fuel pressure regulator, and on the fuel pressure regulator, um, the one that comes in here is some knockoff and uh, if I can get this to focus, made in China. Mine hasn't died yet. A lot of guys, it starts leaking immediately uh, and or 
or eventually leaks and goes down to the vacuum line. I check mine every so often. I haven't found any fuel in it, but I carry the genuine Bosch replacement that I showed you earlier. So it is a genuine Bosch replacement. Um, so those are those sensors that are located either on the engine right here or in the, in the unit. Um, lastly, this is the O2 sensor. This is a genuine Bosch. It does come with a genuine Bosch. At least my unit did came with a genuine Bosch, uh, wideband, um, which is a good thing. This is probably the most important sensor in the entire system. Um, but it is 17014, um, very readily available, um, not, not a high cost. I think it's about 60, 70 bucks. Uh, I carry a spare one. I haven't had, I actually haven't had one of these go bad. Um, uh, I haven't replaced any sensors in this unit. The only sensor that I did replace, which is very common, is the coolant temperature sensor. Mine was reading 25 degrees Fahrenheit too low. Um, many guys go in and calibrate the system. There is there is a calibration that you can do that you can offset to, to calibrate for the sensor. Um, I don't, my opinion, don't do that. Get yourself a genuine Delphi AC Delco sensor and it will read correctly. Mine immediately started matching up with my auto light temperature gauge, which I trust. Um, that's in one of, it's in my passenger side head, which it reads about five, 10 degrees warmer, which makes sense. It's right next to a combustion chamber. Um, uh, it's very close, very, very close. Those two readings, maybe they're about five degrees, I'd say. Um, so, uh, versus it reading 25, 30 degrees low, it was always 160, 170 at the most. And I knew that couldn't be right. Um, very, very common thing. If you read about it, uh, the sensor that they include with the units, just no good, or at least they weren't, they might be now. Um, so those are all of the sensors, I believe. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. If I am, you guys can send me a note, uh, happy to go over it. Okay, so I realized I did forget to cover one thing, and it's not exactly a sensor. Um, but in thinking about it before I put the video together, I realized I didn't talk about the idle air control motor. Um, so the part number is 19333273. This is it right here. Idle air control motor pretty simple stepper motor. Um, this is where the air inlet is for. That's the loud whistling that you hear. Um, most folks know that, but if you don't, this is where the air for the idle comes from uh, in part. Um, part of it's the adjustment of the throttle plates, which I talk about, I think, in a couple other videos. Um, but this is where the extra air comes from when you cold start, as well as changes in load. It's all handled by the idle air control motor back here, which I'm sorry is a little bit difficult to see. That's it right there. Standard GM part there. Um, it's a stepper motor, which means it moves in steps, 225 of them. So it has 225 discrete positions that it can either be open or closed. Zero being closed uh, and 225 being fully open. Um, so that is the IAC motor.